Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy, Gardner. So I don't know how interesting this will be to many of you out there, but uh, I have been working on uh, a little script, a little shell script to get uh, to withdraw library credits from my videos and uh, turn them into dollar bills. So I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on because I think it's pretty cool. So if you guys don't know how uh, this works, it's pretty straightforward. When I, as a content creator, post a video on library, I earn a certain number of library credits per view, and uh, that number is uh, determined by my, my uh, relationship with library. Uh, I'm a partner with library. When, when I get those credits, those credits are actually applied to the video that I actually got the, them from. Uh, rather than the uh, to my actual library wallet. So if you look at my library account, this might take a minute to load library. So you can see here, if you click on this video, I have 1,292 views and I have 684 library credits. And those are associated with that video. On this one, I have 1,005 views and I have 1,003 uh, library credits. Uh, so that's the way it works is basically I upload a video and then um, uh, for every view that I get and for tips and stuff like that, all of those credits for that specific video are actually attached to that video. What happens is you can see I have 304, uh, 340 library credits in my wallet, but in the library credits earned and bound in tips, I have 2,296 library credits. So this is the number right here that what we're, we're going to release these library credits and we're going to put them in our uh, wallet. And the way we do that is pretty straightforward. I've written this script here. This is a script, uh, this is a function that I found online, um, but the rest of this here is all my design. So uh, first of all, we check to make sure that library, uh, ha like the library dependencies are actually on the system. So we check and see if uh, library net returns uh, a value here for command. Then we create a list of all of the claims that are associated with the account. And this is where I started running into issues when I was doing this manually. Uh, your library wallet uh, generates uh, 70,000 of these. If you're a creator like me and you have uh, content that receives uh, tips and, and such. Yeah, it returns about two megabytes worth of, uh, of tips in your account. Um, and so you can go down here. At the end, we have uh, 16,489. And like, that's the number of uh, tips here. What you really need to know about that is that there's a lot of duplicates. You can see here, that's a lot of duplicates. But uh, the instructions that I had were to just replace this with uh, with uh, this right here. So you just replace uh, all of this with that, and then you copy and paste that into your terminal and run 16,489 commands to, to free up the tips. I did not like doing that. And by the time you had like done your 800, your 800th, uh, thing you probably have hit most of the tips um, so you're just basically wasting time at that point so I went in and I just uh, created an array from the results here so 16,000 tips then we create a unique array that has just uh, just one entry for each of these okay and then we go ahead and we process each one of those claims so what we do is we extract the key and then use the key uh, with a little bit of filtering here to uh, actually process the extracted key. And you can actually see there's a, it, it has a progress bar and everything. So let's just run this and see how much, uh, how fast we can actually do this command. So I don't know why this terminal is white, that's weird. And then we can just do dot uh, sh, lbc dot sh. And we'll, we'll run this script uh, together right now. Uh, so it says, welcome to the export script. This was created by yours truly. Uh, use the st script at your own risk because 
I can't guarantee that it works 100% all the time. So just hit yes. Uh, that's what I do. And then your claims are going to be moved to your wallet. Hang tight while we get your claims. It can take a little while. But you'll see that as soon as we start processing here, uh, this number is going to start to change. And this number will go down and that number will go up. You can see right there, it's already doing it. And we are processing. It's, it's a rather slow process, but uh, it works. And the other thing to note is that not every claim actually has uh, library credits associated with it. So it, we're running through 318 unique claims, or 381 unique claims here, and uh, not every single one of them is going to have <laughs> a, uh, a value stored in it. Depending on how many videos you have in your library channel, this can take a little while. Oh look, look at that. We just uh, hit that one video that had a thousand credits in it. So you can actually find the link to this uh, to download the script if you feel you need to. I know this is kind of a niche thing. Uh, this is only going to be for people who have library channels and want to uh, export their credits from their videos to their wallet. Now this script actually takes a significant amount of time to export. Uh, 381 unique claims takes approximately six minutes. Uh, imagine doing that for 16,000 claims. Like I left my computer on overnight and it was not done but in the morning. Like that's insane. There, there aren't actually 16,000 claims. You'll see like once the script is done, there shouldn't be a single library credit left in the earned and bound tips category uh, on this page. Um, it's, it's, it's weird that it exports all of that information um, when so much of it is unnecessary. And now it's down to zero. So you can see uh, the library claims are now in the wallet. So in order to turn library credits into dollars, you're going to have to uh, send your credits to a, a wallet that you have on a crypto exchange and then cash them out into Bitcoin and then turn that Bitcoin into dollars. Um, it's relatively straightforward. You're going to have to create an account create a library credit wallet, and then you're going to want to deposit, and then use this number that you receive, I'm not gonna show this, just copy that number to your clipboard, go back into uh, library, go to send, put in the recipient address, and then put in how much you wanna actually send. So if we do 2,500, that should be fine. Now we'll send that in uh, the, those credits over to the Bittrex account, and that will actually uh, that will make everything available to you. Once you've deposited that amount, you'll have to go into the markets, go to the uh, LBC BTC market, and you'll want to go to sell, and then you want to set. Uh, the quantity of library credits that you want to sell. So let's just say 2,500. And then what we do is we can set the bid or we can ask or last, or we can adjust. And this just sets where you want the, to, to actually sell your library credits for. So if we drop our library credits up here, we'll wait until uh, we set the price that we want to sell our library credits for. Uh, so one library credit would be worth or 2,500 library credits would be worth 0 0.00765 whatever uh, Bitcoin. Uh, once you've converted your uh, crypto into Bitcoin, then you can turn it into US dollars and or or you know whatever else you want to convert it into and uh, send it to your bank account. Uh, I won't go over that whole process, but I'd like to know how you guys do this. Do you guys have library credits? Do you want to cash them out or do you want to um, buy library credits? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.